What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Playmaker Way Way with the Playbook. And y'all read the title, man. $200 account challenge from $200 to $2,000. If I to document this, it's going to be a series. Document this, it's going to be a series. I plan to keep the series consistent on the channel. Going to keep it very transparent with y'all. Got a few other series I got planned to have running on this channel as well. Now, if this is your first time clicking this channel or viewing a video, welcome. I do appreciate you giving this video and channel a chance. Make sure to hit that bell button and sub though and stay here for a while because we don't just drop content like this weekly, but we also drop trade breakdowns, trading tip videos, trading plan videos, trading psychology videos, and of course, we live trade and live stream every day, Monday through Friday, 3 a.m. EST, London session on this same channel. So you definitely don't want to miss out. Now, the main reason what made me even want to start this challenge was shout out to one of my students. He's been when he was one of my first students, and let me just show y'all really quick. This is the student member group chat. He said, Here, as you can see, my little $200 account. I started with you last Monday, it's now at $1,185. Thank you. In literally two weeks, he turned $200 into over a thousand dollars, over $1,100, which is insane. Now, obviously, we talked about it, and he was taking a few trades that I wouldn't personally recommend to take on a small size account like this. But nonetheless, he made sure to secure his profits, which is the most important thing to do. And then you see here, same guy, he's showing screenshots of some of the trades he took. Like, he took, like, NAS buys and things like that, and US 30 buys. Now, I personally would not take these trades on a $200 account, but as you can see, he secured those profits made a huge 120 profit off of US 30 buy. And then you also see we got some students eating in here as well. And we got people passing challenges as well in here. So yeah, if you're interested in joining the events, play Signal Room, click the links in the description. All right, have monthly, yearly, and lifetime subscription packages. Also do one-on-one -on -one sessions. Everything is currently on sale. But let's go ahead and get into this video. Now I'm gonna do this video. I'm gonna have a screen recording the screenshots on this side of the screen. So while I'm breaking things down and talking about it, you're going to see me actually in these trades. And then after I break down those trades, I'm going to go onto the charts and show you guys the charts, the entries, the exits, and of course for the members and the people in the playbook course, I'm going to go super in depth in the detail with these trade breakdowns as well as my entries. So if you're interested in the full detail videos and trade breakdowns, click the second link in the description for that. So only traded three days and in three days I made 50% of my account. Now again, this is a $200 account, but 50% on a, any account is 50%. That's still a huge gain, especially in just three trading days. So the first day I tra started trading on this account was on Friday. So you're gonna see right here, this is Friday. You're gonna see, let's say the date Friday, March 3rd. Then you're gonna see the two trades I'm in. Now, you're also going to see that I started with $212. This was the account I was using because I have multiple live accounts. So this is one of the accounts I was using to, you know, experiment and do some other things. So, you know, I had $200 in it after I pulled out some money. So I just left at $200. But don't worry, I still technically still made 50% of my account because I still made over $100 in three days. This first shoe trace, though, I'm not going to lie, the gold trade, I did over leverage a little bit. Not gonna lie, I was risking about a little bit 10 plus percent on that first trade right there, which is why you see the 0 0.04 lot size. I would not recommend doing a 0 0.04 lot size on a gold trade on a $200 account, especially with the position in the SL I was looking at. Now EUSDX, that trade I was risking about 10 to 15% on that trade again. I recommend not risking more than 5%, but if you're super confident in your trades, you know what you're doing, and most importantly, you make sure to secure your profits, you can, you know, take trades like this and risk that amount. Now, about to go on the charts right now and break down those two trades and show you why I even took those trades and why I felt confident to risk a little bit more. But I also did that to kind of get it jump started so I can have some cushion for the next couple of days to, you know, get the ball rolling and trading. So just want to be transparent and break that down. So now, like I said, most of these trades I did go over during the live streams with the members or enter live. So the ones that I entered live, I'm not going to really break down because most of the time the trades we do enter live, I do go over and break down during the stream. So those days, these three days, I will be dropping the links to those live streams. So if y'all want to check those live streams out yourselves, y'all can go ahead and do so. But I just wanted to put that out there. All right. So you can see at the bottom of your screen here, this is the third same 
day as Friday. Like I said, this was the gold entry I took. Y'all saw on your screens. We want to rewind a little bit. You can see my entry was right here. So it didn't do the full move. So it ended up just being a one to one, almost one to two risk reward. Okay. But I did end up uh, taking, uh, I think I took two positions, not on this account though. I might've took two positions on my other account. But it was a decent move right here. We caught a few thousand pips. So I believe my entry was like 1845. And I didn't hold this entire way. I got wicked out a little early. But I did enter this buy here and catch a decent amount of pips. I forgot what my exact exit was. But it was a pretty nice move here. This thing went up literally a thousand pips or 100 points. Main reason why we went for this buy, and I kind of broke it down on the live stream. But the main reason why we went for that buy was pretty simple. Price broke above. Well, before this move happened, which we caught sales on this move as well, and it just sells on that move as well. But, you know, we'll get to that when we get to that. But price was bearish. Price broke above the previous lows here, which is why we went for a buy. Very simple. And, you know, it went our way. We caught a nice amount of pips. And that was the first entry of the position. I also saw I took an EUSCX 50 buy. So I'm going to show you that entry in that position as well so this was usdx 50 buy this was about a one-to-one -one risk reward um set up hit the top of the zone it was a pretty nice move into the round here this thing shot up 4290 uh 4321 this thing shot about like 3,000 pips so this was a huge move as well which is why again you know we made so much money off those moves now we're about to show you um day two and then we're going to break down some of those trades that was taken that I did not call live stream. So the second day ended up taking four trades. I ended up taking a CHF, CHF JPY buy, a GVP JPY buy, a SBX buy, and then a GVP AUD buy. All right. And all these plays I did end up calling live or went over it live. Now, the SBX buy I didn't call live. I called it a little bit into New York session, but the CJ and the GVP AUD buy. I did call on the live stream and this day as well I also could took a NAS buy, but obviously on a $200 account, I'm not going to enter a NAS buy. So that's why I went with SBX. So I'm going to show you the SBX buy. I'm going to show you the CJ setup as well as the GA setup. And then, yeah, we're going to go to day three. All right, here's SBX play. It didn't end up doing the full move. We missed the final TP by a few pips, but this was a nice one-to-one -one risk to reward. So we made a little bit more than what we were risking. Scheme. So like I said, I made $20, but I could have definitely lost $20 on that play if I didn't secure those profits or um, if the trade ended up not going my way. It was a total of 2,500 pips or 250 points. It was definitely an excellent move. Did a nice retest and explosion to the upside. Then as it got weak, I ended up wicking out or closing around this position right here, around 4065, 4060, just to keep it transparent with y'all. Now this is the GVP AUD setup. Now the first day we just hit a few TPs, hit like TP1, TP2, did a retest. Then we hit like TP3, TP4, did a nice retracement. And then the next day, if we look right here, because again, this was Monday, the 6th, as you see right here, 1030, we had AED news. I entered the trade in the morning during London session. Later on that day, after market reopened, we had AED news. And as you can see here, this is the time the AED news happened. And that thing erupted and brought TPs and literally one candlestick. And then that's when the full move finished. Now, I didn't hold on my personal account till the full move. But if I did, just like everyone else, this would have been a one to three, almost one to four risk reward. So definitely an excellent move there. So day three I ended up taking a total of five trades. I took a gold buy, ended up getting worked out a little bit above break even. Um, I took an AED New Zealand sell. I took a uh, your AED buy. And then I also took a, um, well, you see it on your screen. I don't remember the other positions off the top of my head, but the main ones we're gonna pay attention to is the Euro AED setup and then the AED New Zealand setup, okay? Because those are two trades I did not call out, but I broke down and went over on the live stream and of course, exclusively with the members and students in uh, their Telegram channel. So we're gonna break down those trades because those were, the best setups of the day. Oh yeah, and the other two was a GJ and an NJ sell. Now I didn't hold those positions to the full move, but I am gonna show y'all how those trades ended because those things those things did some serious, 
some serious work. So I'm gonna show y'all that. Like I said, this was a GTA setup called this trade live. That's why I'm not gonna really break it down. Like I said, all the live streams from these three days are gonna be linked down below. But this was a nice move right here. As you can see, he caught 120 pips on this move. NJ caught 59 pips. So this was a nice move. One to three risk to reward. So he made three times your risk on this trade right here. Then we also took this NJ sell. This was another nice one to two risk to reward right here. Again, and on my on this account, I did not hold these closed a little bit early, around 10, 11 o'clock a.m. my time. Then also took a year AED buy. Same date Tuesday. Again, this is the AED news. Enter this during Tokyo session, exploded up, and just continued to ride the wave going into New York. So this full move right here was a one to six risk to reward. So I made six times my risk on this trade, which is why you see I made so much on those screen recordings. Then AED New Zealand took this cell right here, and this thing tanked. Because again, the news helped us out extremely. Trickle down. This is the news candlestick erupted, broke multiple levels. Full move was a one to eight risk to reward. So I literally made eight times my risk. And this was a high risk setup because the news was coming out when I entered this trade. So I risked even a little bit less than I could. I could have risked a little bit more than I did, but I, I adjusted my lot side and risked a little bit less just to account for the risk. And regardless, I still made eight times my risk. So this was an amazing play right here. All right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how I made 50% of my account in just three days of trading. Now, granted, I did have these news days to help push price my way, but with news, without news, it's still very much so possible. And I just wanted to show y'all that it is possible. I mean, like I said, most of those trades, I literally was risking around 5% per one of those trades. There was a couple where I was risking a little bit less or a little bit more, but the main pairs I was risking a little bit more was that first gold entry on day one, on that Friday, and then of course the EUSDX50 and the SBX buys. But other than that, everything was calculated risk. And as you can see, and then of course, I also took a lot of trades. I know most people take around one to four trades a day. I do two personally, but I was being extra aggressive because one, I, I've i been doing this for a little while. I'm confident with my setups. And I just want to show y'all, like I traded a bunch of different things. I trade literally three sessions. I trade Tokyo, London, and New York session. Literally, it doesn't matter what session it is. If the charts are moving, there's opportunities to be met. There's opportunities to be made and there's money to be made. So hope this video motivates y'all, you know, to show y'all like there is money to be made. You don't need a lot of money if you have a good strategy and you it just comes down to simple math you calculate your lot size properly you can literally grow and compound your account and matter of fact go ahead and click this video that just popped up because this video is my trading plan on how i scale my accounts grow my accounts weekly and hopefully that video will help you out too because that i can literally break down my entire strategy or how i compound and double my accounts weekly and monthly so make sure to check that out and of course if you're interested in learning how to identify those key levels that you saw on your screen and identify those lines on your screen on your chart join the advanced place signal room i also do one-on-one -on -one mentorships each one-on-one -on -one mentorship you get two sessions a week they're all an hour long and they're all recorded and sent to you same day everything is currently on sale make sure you join the free telegram first link in the description and I'll see y'all in the next video or the next time I'm live. Peace.